guys. Welcome back. It has been quite some time since I've shared a pencil pouch tour, as it were. So, let's do one, shall we? <laughs> okay, I recently hauled this, and I will link the video below for you folks. It is the Delled pencil pouch that I got off of Jet Pens. No surprise there. I frequent that shop quite often. It's an online shop, if you're not familiar. And I do have another Delled pencil pouch. It's the kind that stands up. Mine's lavender, and then you unzip it from the top, and then you pull it down from both sides, and it stands up like a pencil cup, as it were. So... I'm familiar with this brand, and I thought this was super cute. This is part of their macaroon line, so I chose to get the pink and the lavender, and they all come with the cream on in the center in here. It's front and back. This is the profile. It's chock-a-bock full. I don't have to have it this full, but I want to. <laughs> so there's that. And you would be surprised how much this little beauty holds. And I was intrigued by this because it stays open. Once you open it, it's open. Okay. Um, I did go ahead and add this charm on here. It's a little wooden charm that's actually letter pressed with love and a nice rose on it. Extreme close up. And it came with this little red um, band, as if you will. It's not stretchy or anything. It's a, or a cord, rather. And then I just put this cute yellow ribbon on it. It's all from packaging, and this was a freebie. So, in any event, let's start with the outside. And I do have the plastic film over the Delved logo there. And I'm going to keep that on just to protect it for a little while. Okay, so I have a few things in here. Now, I have an Ollie Block sticker. And I have this washi tape holder. And I decided, what I decided for this is, now, when I'm in my studio doing whatever it is I'm doing, um, getting creative. I tend to just reach this way because right here I have my some deflecto bins. I have them all over my studio in different places for different functions and I just stick it to the, I'll show you, this is the inside piece, to the plastic piece um, until I can put it in my washi heart. What I decided to do just now is simply use a washi card, and this just so happens to be one from the Planner Society that I have on hand, that I had on hand, so I just used that. It's from the current kit, and I just wrapped around all my little bits of excess washi leftover little pieces that I just accumulated on that deflecto bin with keeping in mind that I, I would either use them or put them in a washi tape part in one of my planners. But I decided to go ahead and use it like this because I like having the eclectic mix from whatever's left over for my projects. And you can see I've kept all the little itty bitty ones too. And it's, it's so nice to be able to have these sorts of things on hand and just add it to your page. Just a little sliver of a piece, if you will. Um, and just have it different. So I kept that. And I made that with those things. And this is a paper one with a finish. and Some sort of an enamel-esque finish, if you will. And then this one is another washi tape card from, I don't know know which planner society kit now but um so i just used regular washi and i just made some a washi sample card 
and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I made this very, very thick because I don't want to have to refill it for quite some time. Because I, <laughs> I like washi. I use my washi. And um, so I just made it thicker to be bigger. And then I just have this folded up in there. Nice crumply piece of packaging which I save and I have in a container downstairs. And I also made a Foxy Fix journal that contains a bunch of different little pieces that I can rip up and journal with or do in an art pro using an art project or whatever on hand. So, cause I was fine. I found that I wasn't using them from the bin necessarily, but now that they are in my little journal, my leather journal, all set up and ready to be used, it's more accessible. So, I just have one of these pieces of leftover paper, and that way I can use it. So, it all fits in the outside of this pocket, so why not? Now you can stagger this. Like I said, I've made this wicked thick. Um, and I don't have to have all of this, whoops, but I have the space for it in here. And so why not? You know? That way I have quite the varietal of little bits to use if I'm on the go or I can use them in the house or wherever that I happen to be. So I like the idea of having this. And this is my bare bones, bare minimum thing and pouch. I've set this up where I have a little bit of everything. Not every everything, but quite a bit is in this little pouch. And so if I'm going to be gone, you know, for just... A few hours or whatever I can just grab this and go and take it with me and when I have free time I can just go to town and do what I like the zipper on this is very well made and it unzips completely just like this okay and the beauty of this is that it stays open okay this part right here this is everything that's in here. Can you imagine? It's all quite a bit, actually. Um, so it just stays open, so it's just nice to use. And I've even utilized this little part in between the flap. I like to have a pencil on me at all times. I only have a few, a couple to a few of these very super thin pencils because I like to use this in books because you can just close it because the profile is so thin. So I just slip that right here and it just stays in there nicely. So, okay. So I also have one of these high tech C Colettos and this has, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, yeah, three, four. This is a four barrel one. And I like to use these kind because you have, you can have quite a few colors. So I have purple and pink and orange and brown in this pen. Okay. Then I have a the pen drawing pen, technical drawing pen in 0 0.3. All of these pens that I'm showing you are off of jet pens. I got them there. And I know they have this because they restock this all the time. This might have been a limited limited edition one, uh, but they have different high dexy colettos. And I most of them, the ones that I got are actually five barrel ones, but I like this color of it's just nice having the off white that I went ahead and got that one. And then I have this. Now this is a mild liner brush pen and I chose to go with the brush pen as opposed to I'll just show you 
the regular mild liner with the chisel tip and then the thinner tip because I want to have a brush pen on hand. I want to be able to have a brush pen and this is a brush pen mild liner and it has this little tip at the end so you can highlight with this side and I thought that was a good use of the space within this pouch. I have my little mascot here <laughs> for this particular pouch. I like having them. I've been doing them. Having my little sidekicks with me as of late. Um, these two when I do my Hobonichi Weeks Planner. This is Gus and Jockeys from Cinderella. Now my good friend is doing that on her channel. She got a gift from a friend of hers and Jojo. And it's a keychain, so she keeps that little mascot when she does her um, planner videos too. So I thought that I just like doing it. It's a good idea. It's fun. It makes me happy. So anyway, this little pouch has a mascot too. And it's so squishy and small. It's some toy. I don't know. I've had it for many, many years. So, okay. Next up, I have a Tombow Mono two-way um, correction tape and eraser. So this is the eraser on this side. And since I always like to have a pencil, you bet your boots I have to have an eraser as well. And then this is the correction tape. And believe it or not, because this is pretty thick. But it still fits in there. Okay. So I just keep it right in there. And then. I have this quickie glue pinpoint roller um, pen. It has a cute little heart on the top. I haven't used this yet. I just got these recently. I got a pack of six. So it has a small profile and, you know, we always need our glue. And then I just stuck in another, some tissue paper from something, some packaging. I suppose I could keep it out here too. Why not? I could just keep it on this side. But I had just stuck it there. And then I have some sticky notes. And these are from, I do believe, a Coco Daisy kit or Planner Society with the beautiful cherry blossoms because spring is coming. It's a to-do list. And I keep those right here. This has a thin pocket inside right here. So I just put those right there. And then I have a very thin profile pair of scissors that I've had for a few several years now. I have the larger set too. They're like embroidery scissors, and they are so thin, and they're plaid. Pink and gray, gorgeous. These are made by Thread and Loops, and I got them at Michael's. Um, so. And I keep the pointed edge up. I'll put a piece of something on that if I feel like I'm going to cut myself, but so far so good. Okay, and then on the side here, as you can see, I have a Hobonichi wooden stamp. It has a very, very thin profile. It's a wooden rubber stamp of this banner. Super duper cute. And it fits right there nicely. Okay. And then I have these. Just one I added. This is a Sora Mame ink pad, and it fits right on your finger. I have a whole video on this, so you can check that out. Okay. It's under, this is like how you use the daubers for your Tim Holtz or whatever. Um, but I like having this on hand. And it's super tiny and super cute. This is one of the individual ones. And I have set all the sets. 
So these are the Suramame ink pads, and this is, I can't tell you which color this is because it wasn't transliterated from Japanese onto the package, but there it is in Japanese, if you can read that. But it's a nice, like, green, in between, like, olive-ish, and it's in between olive and, like, a moss, grassy green. So there's that. And then I have this large tin. It's Hello Kitty, and I've had this for many, many years. Over from 2004. It says it right there on the back. Sanrio. So I got this quite some time ago. Okay, so that's 16 years ago. And then underneath that, I have a stencil, and this one is the Doraemon template for Hobonichi Techo. So, I love stencils, and I love stamps. They're sustainable, and it's super thin. Now, it's not the credit card size. It's double that, but it fits right in right here, just like so. So, I'm glad I'm able to have that in here. And then... I have my Stay Deadler Ames Lettering Guide here, and I have the actual directions that go with it here from Jet Pens, and it also doubles as a ruler, and you can make grids and lines um, if you're practicing calligraphy or hand lettering or what have you, and that fits in nicely as well. And then we'll go over the tin. Okay, but you see... All of that is in here. I really tried to pick things with smaller profiles, although this is not, and this is not, but they're small enough and I was able to fit them in just so I could have basics of things I like to use to journal with and plan with. Okay, so here we have it. This is a nice long size tin. Um, the only thing I don't have in here are watercolors, but I do have a thin card tin. And I'm planning on making um, a palette. And that, then I can add that in. And these fit inside, you just hot glue or use um, EOS 6000 or magnets, little magnets, and you stick it on the tin in the um, card holder. I've done a haul on this. It's on my playlist of art supplies. And then that will be able to fit in here as well. So. All right. So. And then, of course, I'll add a brush pen. Now, I might have to lose... A different pen in order to have a brush pen but I can probably figure it out okay in here let's go over it now on top I just scattered some different various different stickers like so and then underneath we have a whole plethora of things in here so let's go over this this is a i think this holds eight let's count one two three four five six seven eight they have these on jet pens and they have them on amazon and i have the refills for these so this is the pentel holder for colored pencils basically so whichever color you choose let's say you want yellow it just opens up like that and then you have a variety a large variety eight colors um to choose from so i have that in there and then i also have a wink of stella and um, I picked the GL White. 
to go in here. So I have that. And then I have some cording off of packaging. It's a gray cording, so I can just snip a piece of this off and add it in to whatever it is I'm doing. And then, or clip it on with this. And this is my Midori Extra Small Stapler. And I got this in my um, um, stationary selection kit made by Mitts. So it totally fits in this tin. That's how small it is. And these take the number 10 mini staplers. And then I have a Kukuyo dot liner petite. So these are tape dots, basically. So I like having that in there. And then I have three more wooden stamps. I have a heart. I have a star. Very cute. And then I have... Um, this can either be coffee or tea. So, all of those things fit in here. Can you imagine? Can you believe it? I'm still in awe over it. I'm very, very happy that all of these things fit in here. So, you can take quite a bit with you. You know? And it's not like it's stuffed either, but it's just the right amount of things, you know. Now I have everything put in here in a very particular way so it all fits. I'm gonna even stick this little fella in here. My little mascot. He fits in there. Why not? Let's see if I can fit anything else. I think that's too big. Yeah. Okay. And then I just have my little stickers in there. Okay. Now I have to play with these stickers. Otherwise, the case will pop open. Or I could take some out, which I am not going to do that. No, no, no. I'd rather just play the delicate dance of making it fit by moving all of these cute stickers around. And that also shows me and lets me go over what I have. You know. So if I need to. There you go. It's closed. Perfectly closed. So if I want to add more stickers, I can. Alright. And in here, I already showed you all of that. So I'm just going to put it back. In order to protect this paper, because I don't want it to rip, I'm going to put that first, and then the stencil, and then my tin. Okay? And then, I wanted to show you this. What I do is, with the Suramame, since it has space there, about um, half an inch, I like to take this one, my mild liner brush pen, and just stick it like that, right inside. Okay, and then I put this pen, my Le, Le Pen pen here, and then this here, that there, and that there. Okay, see all that? Everything is back in there. And then I just close it up. And I held it closed so I don't ruin the zipper or anything. But this surprisingly holds so much. You know, it is a little bit stuffed full, but I'm okay with that. Because now I have all my art supplies handy. I can just grab this. Let's say you just want to veg out and chill after work or whatever, and you just want something easy, you want to sit on your couch or your Barco lounger or whatever it is that you do, and 
you can just grab this in your planner and go. Go chill out on the couch or whatever. Or let's say you have a last minute dinner that you're going to go to. Your spouse wants to go to. And it's a crowded restaurant. You're tired. You just want to relax and unwind. You can just pull this out. Take it with you. Set it right on the um, dinner table. Or the restaurant table or what have you. So I'm super happy with this. Um, I highly recommend it. It's deceptively large for this small case. So it is a great little pouch and you can pack it with anything you want. I think I have a good varietal in here um, of real things that I actually really will use and do use. So, Okay, guys, that, my friends, is everything. If you liked what you saw, I hope you do consider subscribing to my channel, and I wish you folks all a very lovely day. Peace out.